sense of the world. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long and it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started and we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard working jobs, but if they can gain a one on one advantage, they can dictate. So that's got things on the way. Well, well played, he saw that coming. Gets it upfield. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Bay with a delicate ball. Aurier. That tries a shot. Goal. The breakthrough strike. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Ivory Coast will have an early lead. Good start. Well, that's where he wants it. Bye. Ivory Coast are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1 0 lead to show for it. And it's Saha out to the right. Played into the middle. It's a good foot in there. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And he has been fouled there. Wonderful! He's got himself a pitch of a goal! And already they're looking to run away with it! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. So that's two now without reply. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming.
Bailly. Bailly plays it forward. Seri. Seri drives it forward. Zaha. Now it's Zaha. Drives it towards the front. Seri gets it back. Zaha. Needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. Driving on, a real charge here. That'll be the last act of the first half. So your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Ivory Coast ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. Here we go again. Aurier. Attempts to play it through. Swung over. Great leap! Good delivery. No joy. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Seri. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Kessier. It's a loose ball. Back into the middle. Played back in. Cut out in the nick of time. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Big chance! Gorgeous control there. to the flank and it's hoisted clear to heart a real chance to break good running with the ball can they build on it just the goalkeeper to be and the shot and it's there and surely that settles it. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient.
And now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Ivory Coast take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. He's got options out wide. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Seri, and it's Saha. It's got through. Urie, Saha. Now it's Saha. And the referee brings it to a close. Ivory Coast were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result, a comfortable win. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big team beating a, a not-so-big team and a lesson dealt. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.